Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. Give you guys an early truck talk today while I'm having my coffee. Uh, what I want to talk about is uh, a big part of preparedness is accepting that there's a problem or accepting that there could be a problem in uh, certain things, certain systems. Now, we'll always have natural events to deal with. That is uh, a little bit more of a gray area, but when it comes to man-made systems, no matter what they are, there are problems. And uh, acceptance that there are problems and that problems could happen is a large part of what modern preparedness is. Now, I have run across a lot of people, especially in the last three years, um, that admit that there's a problem and that things could go wrong, but there's a small percentage of people that you more or less can't reason with. It's uh, they don't accept that there's a problem or that there's something that could be wrong or that the system could be flawed or there could be underlying things taking place. And I have seen this in just, you know, regular people who aren't preppers. And I've also seen this in a percentage of preppers that only want to deal with the facts, so to speak, and uh, the evidence. And these are the sort of the key words that they'll use is the facts and the evidence. And they're going by, you know, what official channels are telling them. A lot of the things that are going on are underlying and they're not really being um, talked about or reported. The information is out there if you know where to look and you know how to look. And uh, there's been different times when I've said things like, hey, don't you think this is kind of weird, all these trains derailing all of a sudden, or all of a sudden there's all these disruptions and fires and like food distribution and food processing places. And it's always, you're looked at with sort of a raised eyebrow that, oh, you're one of those, you know, guys that believes in those kind of things. Well, yeah, I kind of do believe in those kind of things because if you took everything on hard facts, nobody would take any leaps into, you know, the speculative stage and that's how you prevent problems. You speculate a problem and then you come up with a solution to mitigate that. So, I guess I look at preparedness a little bit differently than the ones that always go by the hard facts. I'm not going to wait for the hard facts to come along to tell me that something is wrong. I'm going to try to step ahead of the pro uh, problem and mitigate that with whatever that I can do with the resources that I have available. You know, I'll give you an example. Um, if you went back in time 200 years and uh, you talked to somebody from 200 years ago and you said, hey, there's a there's a thing now in my time where you you put your food into it and you flip a lever or you push a, uh, push a button and uh, your food's hot in 30 seconds. Or, you know, everybody in my time is going to walk around with a small rectangle in their pocket that has all collective human knowledge on it. They're probably going to put you in an insane asylum because they can't none of that fits into their reality construct. They can't figure out how that can take place, so they automatically lump it in as being crazy. And uh, I see a lot of that. I see a lot of that in, you know, regular uh, people, in regular walks of life, and in the preparedness community to a certain extent. There's some people that just, um, you know, don't, uh, they have to have all the, the facts and the official channels to admit that there's a problem with something. You know, I'm a student of uh, ancient history to a certain extent, but uh, Cassandra of Troy was a uh, princess of Troy that always gave the correct prophecy, but she was cursed that nobody would ever believe her. And uh, sometimes I think when preppers are out there crying in the wilderness that these things could happen, they're basically treated like modern day Cassandras. And uh, I have learned um, 
through the years that, well, I want to help people and I want to pull people up into the prepping game and I want everybody to be more resilient, it's more or less a waste of time to try to convince people that have that mindset because they are stuck in that reality construct um, that they have with how things are you're not going to convince them. There's nothing that you can do to change their mind. You can say, hey, you know, don't these things seem odd that they're all happening at the same time? If they think that it's just a random coincidence, you're not going to convince them. And all it does is slow you down in, you know, how you take care of um, your problems. Like one of the things that I've said for quite some time already, that there's severe problems in um, the medical system. And again, I've been seeing that here with what's been going on with my uh, family member. And I'll share a little bit of uh, information that I just learned here um, recently. Our family member is going for uh, radiation. And uh, the doctor who was in charge of that told me that uh, back um, when the borders and everything were shut down uh, during 2020, uh, they had a hard time doing their job because a lot of that material that they use in nuclear medicine comes over from Canada and because the borders were all shut down and there was so much stuff that couldn't get through the half-life of the material that they used to perform their you know, medical interventions was degraded by the time that it got into Michigan. Now imagine what would happen if those borders shut down because of some other reason. All the people that are receiving some type of medical treatment from that stuff that's coming across the border, they're going to get degraded um, medical care. Just another little facet of what I've said for a long time already, that there is severe cracks in uh, the medical system that just aren't being talked about. They're all underlying. And uh, whether it's to prevent panic or it's to... Um, serve some type of agenda. It really doesn't matter to the person that needs the treatment. But those are the those are those underlying things that I'm talking about. You have to look a little bit deeper, and you have to read in between the lines when it comes to the different things that are going on right now. And uh, I believe in this age that we're in with all the information and uh, all the things that are out there, things can be manipulated and they can manipula be manipulated to look one way or another. So we have to look deeper and we have to read in between the lines a lot more to uh, find the information for us to make our decisions. But anyway, this is Modern Refugee giving you guys a uh, early talk here this morning. I uh, appreciate each and every one of you guys out there. I hope you always get something um, to think about and some good information out of my videos. That's the whole purpose of what I do. But uh, you guys uh, take care and be safe out there today.